Greetings, people of YouTube. Deck and Creepers here, and welcome back to this myth. Yeah, I just. Uh, hello, hello. I'll wait. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that okay. the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring lock <laughs> located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments. Position your head and torso between these parts in a manner oh, where you can move you hide in the weird place. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring locks, as moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. What? If the spring locks come loose while you are wearing a suit, please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out. Oh my not god. Customer experience. As always, if there is ever oh, an emergency, shit. Please go to the designated safe room. Every location is built with one extra room that is not included in the digital map layout program. Oh, that's where he had to be. This room is hidden to customers, invisible to animatronics, and is the always off camera. See. As always, remember to smile when the face is fresh as their Okay. Um, that has to be the deal. Um... That has to be why you can't go in there in those death mini games. That's why you can't follow the <laughs> What the Why? Foxy, what are you doing? God. That has to be why you can't follow um Shadow Freddy or whatever it is into that back room in the um death mini games because um that's the safe room and the animatronics can't go in there, right? Um I'm still pretty convinced that Hello? Springtrap has the purple guy's spirit possessing him, because that would explain the, um, he will come back stuff. <laughs> also, looking at the map, these two rooms, you can call them back and forth, and that keeps him away from the events. If you just keep bringing him back and forth Hello? between here. Hi, uh, hi Freddy in the back there, nice to see ya. Um, I'm gonna try to ramble, um, the theories that I've been thinking of. Um, I'm, re I'm still recording this the night the game has come out. Um, I just uploaded a series teaser type thing, series preview, whatever it is. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. I was running around the subreddit trying to see what I could find out. The jury is still out on the, um... Hallucination animatronics as to what they're called. I've been calling them phantoms. A lot of people are calling them ghosts or just hallucination Hi. Um, I don't really know what to call them. I'm gonna keep calling them phantom because it sounds interesting. Everybody's calling this dude springtrap though, so That I'm definitely sticking with for names for things. I wish I knew the canon names a lot When did the ventilation error just happen while I was in here? Um, so He's talking about, like, these spring locks, spring locks in these suits that don't work correctly. Um, what if... Hi. Oh, yeah, you're already here. Um, oh, shit. Where the fuck did you go? Come back. Come back, Pulse. Hi. Come back. Where are you? Oh, shit. You suck. A lot. Um... It's talking about these springs coming loose. I wonder, there has to be somebody dead inside Springtrap, because there's no way the phone guy would go to all this trouble of explaining this if it, like, Scott wouldn't put that in if it wasn't necessary exposition for the player. So, there has to be somebody who died inside Springtrap, right? Maybe? I don't know, probably not. I'm probably completely wrong, but... That's the best guess I have right now. Somebody wore a spring trap, because I'm pretty sure after re-listening to the audio, not panicking, Hi. from looking at the first episode that I did, um, that spring trap is one of the wearable animatronics. Um, so somebody probably got crushed by the spring locks. I'm thinking purple guy, but... I don't understand why he would be wearing Springtrap, because he seems to be alive after FNAF 1. I think the death minigames take place after FNAF 1. I could be completely wrong there, but it seems like it. Hello? 
Uh, trying to think. So, the only reason I can think for the purple guy coming back, if they are indeed after FNAF1, is because he found out, somehow, that the animatronics are possessed by the spirits of the children he killed. Wow, I'm getting good at this. I... I don't... I still don't understand what makes these fail. I know the phantoms make them fail, but... I can't figure out if why they fail randomly. Maybe it's just after using it for too long to freak you the Hi. fuck out. Um, things, words. I'm trying to think. It'll be better once I'm in the death mini game, because then I can explain things. I love how I've just been rambling about my theories about the game so far and haven't died yet. Hi. Ah, shh. Wow. Wow. Killing it up. Night 3 done without any idea how to play the game. Um, so right now, I think this is the restaurant from the first game. Because these look like the classic animatronics again. I'm going to go see if there's anything else in that hallway. Because I read that there's something to do with minigames. 3, three 9, 5... Two, four, eight. What? I read that there's something to do with mini games. Like people figured out you can double click on Balloon Boy somewhere. That's what that said. B B D B L click Balloon Boy double click. That's what that means. Um, there are some mini games. I don't know what the point is to them. Maybe more story elements. I don't know what they are. I can always go back at some other time, maybe. But yeah, it seems like that hallway that I just went through that had the numbers always contains the teasers. Um, so yeah, I think the reason Purple Guy is coming back is because he knows that the animatronics have been possessed by the ghosts of the children, so he wants to finish killing them, maybe? Because otherwise there's no reason, because the place is already boarded up, right? Right? I don't know. Just, hopefully there was something coherent in my ramblings. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Purple Guy, you coming? Bruh? Leave a like if you did, that went surprisingly well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm probably completely wrong about everything I just said, but oh well. YOLO.